Oh, is there a bleed effect on uh, Melinda's first? On her uh, normal laceration ability or whatever the hell it's called? I need to check on that. Because I noticed the one attack that uh, I did with Melinda on a golem and said resist. Or resisted, I should say. Uh, yeah, okay, there is a 20% chance for bleeding. Alright. Hands parry. Dead end. Wow. That way was a little bit of a disappointment. Alright, Pygmy, please die. Damn it. They never want to die. Alright, uh, that's not going to kill her, but I can kill off this Dryad. I can also try to kill off her. I'm gonna kill off the Dryad. Or at, at the very least, just about kill off the Dryad with one attack. I was not expecting him to crit. Alright, loot and leave. Wait. Confirm. Yes, confirm on leaving the dungeon. Uh, wanna buy resources and stuff from the shop. I, do you ever wonder in video games if you sell a shopkeeper or something and then like you see it the next time you visit if it's the same one that you just sold them the last time you visited? Or is that just me? I mean, obviously I know that it's not the same one because I, I know how that works. I, I understand how the internals of the system work for shops and games, but... So it's gotta make you wonder, right? Play, play the entire game, never seeing this NPC shop have this one item, then you have it, and you sell it, and the next time you visit, they happen to have it. You're just like, what? Spin. Disease. And finally, burn them all. That... Worked overall better than expected. It was not too bad. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Didn't expect to run into that so fast. Oh boy. I think he's dead. Good. That's a lesser rage on uh, the Amazon Warrior, which didn't unfortunately do much for us. Three golems, huh? No reason trying to do a poison blade, it doesn't work on these guys. Same with the bleed, but I mean, I just got a default with Linda. Damn, parry. Alright, we killed those three pretty quickly. Alright, loot and leave again. These aren't taking that long.
I'll say especially these uh, take longer. Or at least the last couple take longer. I expected them to be like three, four minutes each to go through. Hmm, <laughs> trap or trap? Uh, I choose trap that I can disarm. No, I, I definitely think I'm going to have to call it after uh, a uh, hour has gone by overall. It's got like another 10 minutes on it. I'm like, I keep yawning and have been for like the past 20 minutes. Okay, I can tell my body is telling me to fucking go to bed. Stupid shaman. Summoning a dryad. Uh, you are going to die. You're going to die now. Uh, you'll die now anyway, because I chose to... You to be attacked. And... alright. I guess you get to die before your burn turn. Trash Grog's level 8. Woohoo, we have a full team of level 8s. Trash Grog, level up. Wait, did we want to do a level of trash grog recently? We did, didn't we? He raises a chance to inflict wolf affliction when using wolf affliction. I don't know what wolf affliction does. Here's why I won the effect of level of cursed when using or curse. Let's see what else of explosion potion or explosive potion. Increases damage all by 20% of targets already affected by burn when using explosive potion. That would be bad, honestly, but uh, it would require them being on fire to begin with. Which generally, if I'm using a fire thing and throw it, I'm probably not going to be throwing another one at least for a couple turns. Just get, uh, like, I throw the fire thing for dot damage. This is the cost of bait. It does take four. You know what? I'll, I'll go for it. I've used bait a few times here and there. It's not necessarily a bad thing to have that a bit lower. Oh. Oh, treasure chest. Uh, I'm gonna ignore you for the moment, treasure chest. Have some XP while we're here. Since we found the, the exit, no reason really not to at this point, since uh, this is the last bit of the uh, manor anyway. Well, Pigmy's dead. Get some XP. The work is almost level or halfway through level eight already, almost to nine. God, I, we have such a level discrepancy between these guys. I get part of that's from uh, deaths and whatnot that happen. Damn. 
Also, there are so many enemies, Jesus. Oh, actually. No, I guess we did, we were actually able to avoid a lot of the uh, enemy groups, weren't we? Like overall. Uh, you get to die, Snake. Because you're in the way. We're going to deal with the stalker. Alright, burn him. You know, I'd question how a dryad parried a burning or a bottle of burning. So it's a, bo bo a bottle. But I don't know, the dryad, I guess. Magic. It's really what it kind of comes down to, to me. first. Uh, okay, crit. Unexpected. I, I do love the crits, but they always throw me off. It's like, alright, I know I'm going to need to use two, two attacks to finish this person off because that's what I've been kind of going on. And it just, there's just a crit. And then it's just like, nope, don't need to. Okay. You know, I am glad to uh, have come back to this game. It's fun. I really do enjoy it. I'm busy with so many other games though, I just never got around to finishing it. I'm also glad to have seen uh, that there's been quite a few updates since I last played 2 that we were talking about. Like, it doesn't seem like there's been uh, like a stupid amount of content changes. Really, but I can definitely feel the game running better than it used to. Uh, even while rendering, for that matter. Granted, this game wasn't very intensive to begin with. It was just I don't know. There's there's like a few times during menus and whatnot that it felt like they were maybe a bit laggy. I never really mentioned about. Okay, well that pygmy's going to be dead. God, left with one HP. What is this uh, marker up here? Pygmy and Cohesion, plus two critical. I see. I thought that was uh, one of my like debuffs on him before, that's why I didn't kill the guy with one HP. I thought it was like disease or something on him. For some reason. I didn't really look at the icon, I didn't notice the icon was iron. My bad. Let's say magical power, that, be, that would have actually been right a moment ago, but... There's no enemies left, so let's leave. What do we get? Magic armor. And... Whatever it's down counting up. 500 gold. Down counting up. Is that what I just said? Done counting up. That's what I meant to say. Alright, to the shop. Let's buy some stuff. Is there a the dagger? We could. Give me the hassle of uh, making it. I'm gonna build with You know what? Fuck it. We just bought all of your stuff. Give me things. Alright, Thurgrim. Uh, is there anything in particular you can craft right now that we couldn't before for some reason or another? That seems intriguing. Oh, uh. I guess Frank didn't have a necklace, or an amulet, I should say, but... 
Maybe I'll worry about that later. Roots of the mummy. It's amazing how drastically different these boots can be. There's like only one or two types uh, a tier an area. So like the stats can vary very widely. Belt of the Tomb. Belt of the Tomb can go with the boots of the mummy. Antique totem. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything, honestly. Uh, unless there's another... Vampiric Dagger I can make, possibly. For me to give to uh, Melinda. I don't recall a way there uh, a way for us to like farm up vampire teeth. I think the only ones that we actually got were for defeating Melinda the first time around. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything at all. There's a bit of origin. Oh, was there something in range? Uh, let's see. 4 and 12 minus 4 on Perry, I think. I think Elian has bow the snake. So, this bow is actually slightly better. Uh, but we need a desert rose and two scorpion tails. I know I can craft up the desert or uh, the scorpion tails, but I don't know about the desert rose. Shield of the Sphinx. Shield of the desert. Shield of the desert. What what symbol is that? It's like a square, a X square. So that doubles the stats on the item. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, potions. Cool. We can craft up a few of the, uh, the same amount of potions. It's all those made up. Uh, any rings we can do? There's a few there, but... I don't know, I never them. Uh... But yeah, that'll, uh, that'll that'll have to do me for now. Uh, not not because I don't want to keep going, but because I I am tired as shit. And I think if I was to try to push myself at this point to go another hour, I'd probably just fall asleep in my chair. Uh, so yeah, gonna have to end off the stream. Uh, definitely a bit shorter one. Uh, I guess we went just about four hours, just a bit under at the moment anyway.